Hello everyone, I thought I would talk to you about the most common theme in my writing. Now, of course, there are many themes in my writing, but this theme is probably more common than anything else. Now, of course, uh, what I'm primarily concerned with with my writing is making sure that there's a certain amount of aesthetic value, a certain amount of poetry, a certain amount of beauty uh, to it. But this is, uh, is th but this theme is the foundation upon which all of that rests in many cases. And one thing that my work very heavily uh, criticizes is is this kind of um, modern rationalist uh, empiricism that uh, that started in many ways around uh, uh, 200 years ago. And it's this idea that man can live through pure reason alone and that things like logic and uh, morality don't need to rest in uh, transcendental categories or in something like God, that man can basically uh, create his own purpose and that he can uh, use rationality and logic p purely by appealing to his own senses. And that's something that I uh, thoroughly uh, criticize uh, in my writing because ultimately, if something like uh, morality does not rest in any kind of transcendental category, then it ultimately becomes meaningless uh, and uh, arbitrary. The same can be said for things like logic and reason. If, there is, if things like logic and reason do not rest in any kind of transcendental category, then ultimately uh, one's worldview completely uh, collapses because they do not have uh, any kind of a justification upon which that can rest. And um, that's something that I believe wholeheartedly. And, and life ultimately becomes arbitrary and meaningless unless um, God is at the foundation and at the center of it. And uh, you know, this can especially, um, I was thinking about this recently when comparing uh, the two authors, uh, William Wordsworth, and uh, Percy Shelley, and how both great poets. However, I found Percy Shelley, who was a, a, an atheist, I found some of his work lacking because although it, his work had a lot of aesthetic merit, he, I, I could tell that, that there was a certain level that he couldn't go beyond because, he could, because his poetry ultimately could not rest in the transcendent because he didn't believe in, in, in that. So, so it was very limited. I, I felt, whereas you had someone like William Wordsworth, who who was a devout believer, and and he was able uh, to transcend that, and he, and he was able because his poetry rested on 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 not on the transcendental, on something non-material. Therefore, his his work was able to have a kind of spirituality to it, which enhanced uh, the aesthetic value. His work was able to have that in a way that Percy Shelley's work simply w did not. And um, for, and so, uh, I do think that that in order to be a truly great artist, that one has to have a certain kind of uh, spirituality. Otherwise, their their work will always be uh, lacking uh, to a certain degree because they can't ultimately go beyond nature, uh, which is where true beauty uh, uh, rests. And uh, so, um, yes, uh, my, my I criticize that this kind of rationalist empiricist worldview heavily. Um, in my writing, and that's definitely uh, one of the most common themes in my writing. For example, uh, you have the character of Bertrand uh, Shaw, who is a character in my book, uh, The Ecstasy uh, and the Ignominy, who he's a, a philosopher and he's someone who thinks that man can basically achieve uh, morality uh, through pure reason alone, but then what he finds is, is that uh, the society around him starts basically collapsing and he and he realizes that the consequences of his worldview. I also deal with this in my book, Symphony of Perdition, more on an individual level, whereas in the ecstasy and the ignominy, it's more on a uh, societal level, uh, where you have a character who um, who, who um, cannot seem to find true meaning or purpose, and because of that, um, he thinks that because he thinks that there isn't any such thing as free will and that everything is determined, he ultimately tries. Uh, uh, he ultimately tries uh, to kill uh, his daughter who has a mental illness because he doesn't think that she will be able uh, to recover because she doesn't have a uh, free will. So in many of my books, the characters deal with the consequences of such a bankrupt uh, worldview.